May 13th, live on the zone pay-per-view from the OBO Arena, Wembley. It's a big card coming your way. Misfits 007, topped by KSI and the badass billionaire Joe Fournier. But the undercard Let's might go, be the biggest we have had to date. And this you know hit with the... is a fight that tops all action. Hit what a the... fight we've got here. Super salt. Salt poppy. Maybe well. the most feared boxer in the crossover space, taking on Anthony Pretty Boy salt Taylor. Poppy. Certainly his toughest test to date. The fellas joined yeah. today. And as I've said to them Let's a few go. times already, I don't know which way this is going to go. I, I simply can't pick it. But Salt, Anthony, good afternoon. Welcome to both of you. Salt, I'll good start Good afternoon. With you. Good afternoon, Chris. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, my friend. I'll start with you, like Salt. Solid you Filipino, How's the training mate. going? You're looking well, I'm Salt. Feeling, I'm it. feeling very well. I'm very confident with this fight. And I, like I said, I've been working very hard. I'm ready to go. That's it. Tell me how quickly... It, uh, you, you responded uh, to this offer. You know, as soon as the opportunity to fight Anthony Taylor came through, did you have to go and wait? Think about it. Did you have to speak to your coach or your management, or was it a case of the offers there, signature, let's go? I have two other previous names that, like, you know, supposed to fight me. You know, I have other names, but then um, he backed out somehow, and then I was offered this other guy, but then um, it just didn't feel right. So um, I feel like Anthony was the next challenge. Bro, niggas are scared of salt poppy like that. People backing up like, nah, I don't want that smoke. <laughs> just how do you rate Anthony? Do you think he is your toughest test to date? Um, Anthony Taylor is definitely um, a step up challenge for me i believe anthony taylor is the most experienced fighter in the influencer scene he fought um, guys like tommy fury idris virgo chris avila all other names tommy and, um, fury yeah, he's the most experienced he has like 10 plus fights they in call MMA, him probably nearly the like influencer 10 fights boxer? in boxing so it's definitely the most it's definitely a step oh, up challenge it? for me i'm gonna come to him in a minute because i know that he'll have a lot to say about this fight i can see him wanting uh, to get involved already but before we do so i've got to ask you Anthony is a loud character. He likes to try and get in his opponent's head and play those mind games, get under the skin. It doesn't matter who the opponent is in front of him. We saw him with Idris Virgo at press conferences, at weigh-ins, getting right up in the face. If he tries that with you, who, are, who is typically the other end of that scale, usually very calm and relaxed, do you think that he I might mean, rile you? Calm, Are you able to sort of suppress it. Anthony Taylor coming at you for a whole week before the fight? Um, I don't think so. Um, like all I have to do is just be myself. I don't need to play any character that I have to play. I don't have to like talk trash. Um, the more Anthony talks trash, the better for me because it's <laughs> gonna go on, on the internet once I beat him. It's gonna be a meme, like you know. <laughs> it's gonna be a meme. Just edit them, you know. That's how I go viral and viral like that. You're a very modest man, Anthony Taylor. Let's bring hey, you man, in. I can see you sad. enjoying you that, know reacting up? to it. As it goes along, he's swinging already. <laughs> Calm down, sir. He's on the other end of a Zoom. He can't get you just yet. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Um, Anthony, welcome. Good to speak to you again. See, that's way you better than freaking... Finally, Deji's the drunk. pretty boy has come back to London. What's oh. up with it? They call me the ultimate... Pretty boy, since they call him Super Salt Poppy, to all <laughs> boy. And I mean, I feel great. This is going to be great. This is like Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, two in the infield. <laughs> this nigga. Super Salt Poppy was humble and quiet like Manny Pacquiao. You got Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor, who's cocky like Floyd Money Mayweather. This is a great matchup. It's very similar to how it was with the Pac Man versus Floyd fight. Uh, Two great fighters that people are feared. You know, people are scared to fight. Me, me and Salt are no joke. KSI is ducking us. You know, no one wants to fight us. So we have to fight each other. This is definitely a pay-per-view fight. This is the biggest fight in the history of Misfits because we all know what it brings to potential. You got this man who's a dangerous fighter. I'm not taking nothing away from that. This guy has a good straight left and a, and a and a straight counter right. You know, this guy is so poppy. He's feared to be amongst all the influencers. He is the real deal. If you think I'm lying, look, you got Manny Pacquiao talking about this guy. You got the president of the Philippines who hey, who's boasting. Hey, man, look, my girlfriend's Filipino, so I understand. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting chewed up every single day by my girlfriend. She's Filipino. Oh, bro. <laughs> Her family's on my ass every single day. 
you better not lose to him. <laughs> oh, Filipino pride. I'm like, look, man, like I understand, but overall, I'm happy to share the ring with Saul Poppy. It's going to be a fun matchup. You know, yes, I am a step up. I am a step up above the rest. I feel like I'm better than everybody in the space. It's just my mentality. It's all about who's mental stronger in this fight. It's always been about fighting. How's your mental? I think I'm I think I know the answer to this, Anthony, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. The same question that I put to Salt, as soon as the option was offered to you that you could take on Salt Puppy, how quick was your response in the yes column? You know, uh, he said yes know. straight away. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I was like, let's go. I said, <laughs> look, I was trying to I was trying to, to be personal to be perfectly honest with you. The 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 fight that I wanted was Paul Bama, Paul Bama, JMX and uh, Jay Swingler or King Kenny, those were the four opponents that I wanted to fight. But Mams called me out of nowhere. I was asleep like, hey, you're going to fight Salt Poppy. I'm like, okay, sure. Let's make it happen, you know? I mean, even if Mams says, hey, listen, you're going to fight heavyweight, wherever Mams wants me to fight, who he wants me to fight, it is what it is. I told Mams, look, if Wally come up to 145, I don't mind going down as low as 145 pounds to fight Wally. I will fight anywhere from 145 to 185. I'm a warrior. That's why they call me the ultimate pretty boy. Talk to me a little bit about Salt Puppy's skill sets before we come on to your proposed uh, weight movements. We've got a, a, a big fight locked in here. So let's focus on that for a moment. Talk to me a little bit about Salt Puppy. What in particular impresses you about him and what have you got to watch out for when you're one-on-one -on -one with him on May 13th? Well, Salt Puppy has a good straight left. It's quick. It's fiery. He can catch you. I'm telling you, bro. It. When they let he me in this fucking boxing, so bro, with these right niggas, oh, bro, I'm going to be like, what up, bro? Oh, 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 oh. Niggas be, pop, 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 bro. So that's, Fast. that's the challenge. When you're able to throw oh, a straight left without telegraphing it, it becomes Yo, a game. KSI, huh? any of them niggas, you know, hit me, bro. a lot of people. He caught I'm ready right now. I know I ain't got the biggest following yet. He's a counterfighter. But we yo, know, don't Salt miss out on this great opportunity of this nigga, bro. bro. We we understand that we've seen it. You know, this is what he excels at. This is this is how he makes his knockout. He wait on he waits for the other people to make a mistake and he counterize on it. Look, Salt Poppy is a very game opponent. He's probably a, one of the dangerous opponents I fought in my career. You know, probably a top five dangerous opponent. But man, the guy possesses speed, quickness, and ring IQ. The guy knows how to fight. He knows how to move around the ring. He knows how to use his reach advantage. Forgive me um, for maybe stirring the pot a little here, but uh, I'm used to Anthony Taylor coming out going, this guy's nobody. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Even when it's someone Different now, with a nigga. record like Idris Virgo, you're coming for, like, I'm going to do this. Find a nigga that got, that got some hands, man. Is this a mind? Oh, oh, I, didn't, I didn't like Idris Virgo. I like Salt Poppy. I, I, got, I didn't like Idris Virgo. <laughs> he like, I like oh, Salt Poppy. Hey, me and him, we share the same culture together. Like I said, my girlfriend's Filipino, so I understand the, the culture and the respect within them. I, you know, I can't say... Oh, I'm gonna do this to Salt Poppy because Salt Poppy's not gonna react to like that. You know, certain people you gotta talk with and talk at. He just Virgo, I was able to talk at, you know, rah rah. Poppy, I gotta talk with. You know, my job and my goal is to take Salt Poppy out of his element, get him out of character. You know, I need to make Salt Poppy upset. I need to try to figure out what makes him laugh, what makes him mad. What makes uh, him explode, you know? So I got to try to see if I can help break character. Who knows? That might be on the press conference or, or you know. So that's my goal. Salt Poppy is a very likable guy, and he's very quiet, you know? So as much as Floyd was with Manny, it was hard to break Manny because Manny just family, humble, you know, beginning. You know, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> and plus, I like I like Salt. He's a really good dude. So, oh, Chris, uh, there, this reminds me of um, Pacquiao versus Broner a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Well, Broner lost. I'm Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> I said Broner lost. Uh, for, the, for those hey, who I think Broner did lose, though. Pacquiao Broner fight and build up, I encourage you to go and check that out as 
uh, to, to maybe understand that reference. But Sol, what do you make of everything Anthony said there? Do you think he might be trying to draw you in a little bit by being nice and sort of speaking up to you? Or is this is this genuine? Is this the, the... I mean, uh, it doesn't really like affect me. Like um, boxing is a professional like sports. Yeah. And at, at, the, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's just it's just a sports. We're here to entertain the people. We get, we're going to get inside the ring. We're going to try to kill each other to entertain the fans. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what the people want, really. Like, give the people the, the, the fight that they want to see. And then that's what we're doing right now. Like, I fought Josh Brockner that nobody wants to fight. So I fought him. They said he's, a, he's the challenge. If I beat him, I'm the real deal. Now I'm fighting Anthony Taylor, another big challenge. They're saying if I beat this guy, I'm going to be the real deal. So what's going on? Like the next one, I'm going to be fighting another guy. <laughs> Big challenge. They say, I'm a, a real what? Nah, man. I'm always fighting. I'm the only influencer in the scene fighting challenges that nobody wants to fight. One thing that Anthony Taylor said a minute ago that, that I do uh, agree hey, with. I respect you are very for calm, that, bro. Very humble, very likable. I've said it in the last, in the build up to the, to the Bruckner fight as well, to you in, in interviews. You have this streak inside you. You're a great guy, very calm, very easy to speak speak with and get on. But then you say these lines, these little one-liners come out. I remember the Andy Borsky fight where it was all very calm and humble, great fight, respect my opponent, and I wish him a speedy recovery. Then it happens with Josh Bruckner. He's a good fighter, he's, he's talented, I respect him, but I'm going to fight him like he owes me money. There's this streak <laughs> inside you. Do, we, do we see that come out the closer we get to fight night with Anthony Taylor? Do you think that you can I mean, uh, respect one another? I mean, those, those lines were just like jokes, like, you know, just me like making jokes, really. So, okay. And then it just, it, it just happens like, not, like naturally. I don't, I don't really like aim for knockouts. Just the knockout just happens like naturally. I don't, I don't like, you know, aim for them. What kind of fight do you see coming with Anthony Taylor? Do you think, do you think it's the fight that goes? It I mean, um, Okay, Anthony Taylor is um is a very tough guy. He's like he's like a bull that keeps moving forward and forward. But I just don't know um how well he he could take my power. Like you know um I, I feel I believe I do have the power. So now how somebody um Josh Brockner was definitely like a bigger, stronger guy than me, and I took him out with one punch. He's referenced his peekaboo style, which he just sort of gave a glimpse of there. The the, the style famed, of course, by Iron Mike Tyson. Um. Do you know much? Yeah, hit them in the body, bro, because they got it up here. Oh, body open. Nigga. I mean, um, the first time uh, I met like you Anthony Taylor, like on Showstar boxing event, like you know, like last year, uh, uh, like um, I've been watching Anthony Taylor like fight for for a while. He fought guys like Jack Pincham, um, mm -hmm. like so I I know how he fights. I've been watching him, and I knew um he's gonna be my competition one day. Because we're the same weight. Anthony, he knew you were going to be competition one day, so he's had an eye on you. What do you know about Salt Poppy? Oh, man. I just saw, when I first met Salt Poppy, I used to watch his TikTok and then I saw him fight. I said, this kid fights. He's going to be special. Me and Salt Poppy that night, I knew he was a special guy, a special fighter. And I was like, one day, we're going to fight each other. And I messaged him. I was like, listen, we're going to fight yep. one day and we're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That was the plan, and it's happening. That was the plan. That was the main plan at the very beginning. Personally, we met on star event. I was the um, I was at the bottom of the undercard, the prelims. He was free to to watch on YouTube. Now we're here, nearly coming. We should have been the coming, but you know, they just fighting. So let him be. Yeah, I, I yeah. personally wanted. I would have loved this to be in the. I thought this was fight was going to be in the Philippines. To be honest, <laughs> I rather prefer this fight being the Philippines because one. You get a free trip to the Philippines, and you get to eat all the punts that, <laughs> that you want. <laughs> to be honest, you know, but Salt Puppy is a very tough challenge for anybody. Not just for me, but Jake Paul also, Tommy Fury, and KSI. You know, I'm not going to say I'm a steamroll, and, and you know, because I got to be realistic. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a tough fight. By the way, Saul, I just I just got the deposit of the seventy five thousand in my account. Thank you for the money. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Appreciate it. I put that in good use. <laughs> Make sure you invest it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not in the strip club. Not in the casino. Man. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> but but yeah, Chris. Regarding that one eighty five, you know, we agree at one eighty five. I have to come up weight. I'm like about one sixty. No. 171, so I have to gain some more weight. 
So I'm packing on muscle. Packing on muscle with the intention, I assume, you don't see the spike going the distance. One builds muscle to generate power, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I got speed, you know what I'm saying? I, I you know, flow like a butterfly and sting like when I pee. It, joke <laughs> <me>. <laughs> what? You know, I got the speed. Look out, Poppy. Uh, uh. I got the kryptonite for this man right here. Y'all want to show you guys. No. What, what is he about to do? Possibly coming back here. <laughs> what is going, what is going right here? The pepper. The <laughs> power shit. Look, look. All you got to do is throw pepper on him. He's going to sneeze and I'm going to count on him. Yeah. Left, right hook. Damn, damn. You better check them gloves for pepper in before the fight. <laughs> uh, Anthony mentioned um, fighting in the Philippines there. I know that you will have seen uh, <laughs> comments about fighting you in the Philippines and wanting that fight. Does that distract you at all, knowing that the big fight that you've, you've mentioned once? I'd be wild in the Philippines. Eh? about bringing it to your sort of, not back garden, but your a huge fight where you're from and bringing that to you. But you've got to beat this guy first. Does it distract you at all? Um, not really. But yeah, fighting in the Philippines is definitely like a dream come true. Yeah. Um, hopefully, Misfits um, Boxing can make that happen. Um, a lot of my fans, the Filipino fans, will be supporting me for sure. Um, Manny Pacquiao might be there to watch, so it will be a, a great scene and um, very good for the sport of boxing, especially for the influencer scene. It's gonna be like Manila, uh, Thriller in Manila. I know. I That's know that you guys have, you, you and Manny have commented on each other's in, Instagrams and messages and things, but have you actually sp spoken with Manny Pacquiao? Yeah, I spoke to him on Instagram and uh, he made a post as well that when he comes back, um, do an exhibition, he might want me to fight as a co-main. Wow. And versus Manny Pacquiao versus Anthony Taylor. And Coach there you go. Salt Poppy versus KSI. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anything really. Could you imagine? Well, all the talk of KSI versus Salt Papi in the Philippines, of course, you will be looking to derail that, Anthony. Is this is this a win that if you get Yo, it, you get propelled into those sup. big fights? Is, is, well, bigger fights, should I say. Is that the way you're seeing this? Is this now a huge step up, but potentially opens up even bigger ones? I mean, there, there is potential. You know, at the end of the they day... They let me fight, you feel if me? I fight Salt, the if I get up in there, I'll beat him. Salt, our competition goes nothing but higher and higher and higher. We don't get the luxury to fight like <laughs> like Jay Swingler and Slim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Gib. Them guys, they get to fight the D and C level fighters. Me and Salt, regardless after their fight, we got to fight A-plus players, fighters after this. You know what I'm saying? We're fighting the top dog that Misfits got. Mm -hmm. but we're still yep. not out. At the end of the day, this does propel one of our careers to another direction. Regardless, Salt Poppy's still going to fight in the Philippines. He's still going to be in the, a fan favorite. And regardless, I would still be that loud mouth, flamboyant, SOB, you know, <laughs> fighter. Thing. You know, I'm tough. I'm the toughest. Man, this nigga talk a lot, around. fam. Ain't nobody tougher than me. My mental is crazy. Kiss I don't know this Anthony Taylor nigga, so I'm going to go for Salt Poppy because that nigga can dance. That nigga be doing the, he be dancing, so... I connect with him on that level, so. I ain't tough, you know what I'm saying? He acts tough, but he ain't tough. You know, these guys ain't really about it. Saw Poppy, he's about it. He's about it. <laughs> let me, let me ask you, I'm going to stir the pot a little bit. Now one for you, Anthony. <laughs> Straight into the camera, while Salt Poppy's watching you on the screen, what's your message to him ahead of fight night? I'm coming forward. I'm coming straight ahead. Counter is not going to stop me. I do neck exercises every single day. I got a 22-inch neck, and it's gotten bigger. I can absorb <laughs> the best, hardest punches there is. I'm coming straight for you, Bobby. Neck. I'm not here to box. I'm not a boxer. I'm a brawler, fighter. I'm going to make this a bloody, messy war. I'm... Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Boy, I want this honey, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are you drinking, oh, honey? That nigga character. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that bit. <laughs> he was so pepper. Pepper on it. A... This nigga different. Let's Yo, go. <laughs> this nigga different. I he a character. But, so, hey, what, that's how you sell a fight, to though. Anthony B, in response to that. Um, I just, um, I hope he's doing, um, he's doing well with his training. He had to spit that shit ready. out. He know that shit was nasty. And, um, yeah, um, that's exactly what I want him to be. I want him to, to pressure me, come up to me, and, um, 
He'll find out what's going to happen. I'm like Ipo Maka the Uchi. I'm going to hit him with the Dempsey roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sol, are you, uh, I know you you sort of spoke about this before, but as we begin to wrap this up, very briefly, are you going to knock Anthony Taylor out? I don't really look for the knockouts. The knockout happen. Um, I believe when people hasn't really seen my full potential, I can I can move forward as well. I can fight forward like Anthony, and um, he'll find out on May 13. Anthony, are you gonna knock Salt Papi out? Man, I don't want to get Keen mad at me for saying anything, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's gonna be a fun fight. I can't promise anybody. I haven't really knocked nobody out yet. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm going to see I mean, it, 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 may, it may be your first one. And you'll, right. Like, you know, you hopefully it's know. me. Like, you know, you never know, man. Right. I might do a chase uh, before. And yeah. catch it. You never know. But look, man, you I never just know what can happen. forward to this fight because it's going to be the best fight of the year. Maybe the best fight in history of Misfits. You know, we're talking about Tommy. We're talking about Hearn versus Hagler round one coming out the bell. Thank you very much. Hagler Hearns. Mayweather Pacquiao, Taylor Papi. This is two Misfits fan favorites going toe to toe on May the 13th, live on the zone pay per view at the OVO Arena in Wembley. See, they selling the fight. Neither Them other people are so boring on the face we off, nigga. Down. They're shadow boxing yeah, make sure, um, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Soul Papi and Anthony Taylor, to our social media. Yeah, buy the merch, uh, supersoulpapi.com. You already know. Let's get it. Absolutely. Hey, and that, that hoodie go kind of hard, nigga. Son, uh, pun said to me, so because I need that Filipino food and the fish, all that stuff. Shout out to all the Filipino fans who are supporting us, watching the fight. Hey, it's horrible. My girlfriend's parents, they got you winning the fight. I'm like, wait, I'm dating your daughter and you got him beating me? Like, come on. But it's a Filipino thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I appreciate you, Chris. You know, when are you getting into the ring, Chris? It's a bad connection. I lost you there. Sorry, mate. I couldn't hear Oh, you. oh, oh. When are you go <laughs> going into the ring? Stop playing with me. We all know you got 25 wins, 15 coming by the way of knockout, five of them coming by the way of death. Come on, Chris. Stop playing with me, dog. You know, you know who you really are. Come on. No comment. Anthony, what take about this? You fight the winner between me and Salt. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that smoke. I don't know if I'm ready for that smoke. I, <laughs> let's, let's, let's see how it goes. I, I've got to get myself in shape first. But listen, fellas, before we leave you... See, bro, they know how to sell a fight, bro. Them other niggas, man, them niggas was boring as fuck. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas ain't saying shit. Other niggas was just like, yeah, man. We just gonna just, yeah, man. Like, nigga, fuck out of here, nigga. Like... <laughs>